Wait, last time, didn't I just... I enderpearled down here, right? Yeah, and then I don't remember where it was, though. I didn't really think this through. I didn't bring much... Uh... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. What's going on, guys? My name is CPK. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. I'm back with another episode of Kingdom Craft, your favorite faction series where your favorite YouTubers try to brutally murder each other. Guys, I really genuinely need you to leave a like on this video because I am about to admit the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Now, if you watched my last video, you've probably already seen the comments because my god, have I seen the comments. They're everywhere. I, in the last episode at the start, was in Joey's base. And a lot of you guys left me a comment saying Joey kept all of his rare stuff in a chest underwater. So I clicked on the chest and I started looting and I was quite excited because he had such an interesting array of things. And you'll see throughout the video, I was quite surprised when I found that he had a lot of terracotta. I thought it was a bit of a weird one. And it turns out that the chest I was raiding was an ender chest and I was literally raiding myself. I was looting my own items from the ender chest in Joey's base. This is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in this game. Don't get me wrong, I am stupid. And I very, very much don't know enough about this game, you know, to be considered knowledgeable. I'm very dumb. However, that is special. That is truly special. I'm now gonna, I'm just gonna refer to myself as the server idiot. A lot of people probably thought it already, but I've just locked it in. I literally went out of my way and got excited when I looted my own items. There was even a moment, I don't even know if I said it in the video, there was even a moment where I, I looked at my own ender chest and was like, why is it so empty? Let's pack these back up. They're going, these are going in the, in the ender chest right away. I don't remember it being this empty, I thought I had everything in here. Well, it's empty because I bloody looted myself, didn't I? So, if that story is not worth a like in pure sympathy, honestly, because that is tragic, then I don't know what is. I really don't. I've also recently swapped back to my HyperX headphones. So, these little uh, black headphones are back now. Don't get me wrong. Um, the Razer headphones were good, um, but the HyperX ones are just next level comfortable. They're so comfy, and uh, I've used them for years. So, and this is it's not a sponsored video or anything, but... Um, it's just so good. They really are so good. So, big up HyperX and the HyperX gang. You know, they're such a good headset. Let's go ahead, see if we can jump in here quickly without getting any serious damage done to us. Uh, one spawn. That's bad. Yep, it's bad. It's bad. I mean, how easy can I kill these things now that I have a, a somewhat decent sword? They just still hit so hard. Oh, God, they're behind me as well now. Look, there's so many of them, man. I really want to do a mansion run, but I'm so scared. Everything's so blooming strong. Let's live in fear constantly. But yeah, that's my embarrassing story over. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you, honestly. It's pretty tragic. I know. So please don't abuse me anymore. I got a lot of really, like, negative comments. When I understand it was stupid, but my god, like, it was just a silly mistake, guys. Everyone needs to chill. I know you love the content. Let's make more great memories. Without further ado, let me take you home. I am now confident to say that I have an unraidable base, and here's why. So, as you saw in my last episode, I did start to do a checkerboard effect here. Um, I didn't finish it. A lot of people were saying they could still get in. Technically, yes, right now they can. Um, but obviously, once this checkerboarding is done, they won't have a two-block gap to get into. And they won't be able to get in. But, Editor Lou actually came to me, the genius that he is, with a much easier solution, which I can now show you. So, obviously, the easiest way into my base, and maybe the only way in, is to Chorus Fruit in. Because... Uh, you can't destroy obsidian. It's impossible. You also can't pull it with sticky pistons because I tried that for a raid once. And uh, if I do slash F... Uh, no, slash G. Slash F warp go volcano now. You're going to see me teleport into my own base and blam. There's a bunch of water down. Now, does this make it moderately annoying being in my own base? Yes. Luckily, my base is small and I can pretty much reach everything from anywhere. Uh, if you have water on the ground, nobody can TP in. That is the rule. I'm going to get rid of this cauldron and move my bed just for extra safekeeping. So at this point, I really do feel like my base is relatively unraidable. I don't think they can get in. And I can't think of any other way they'd get in. I can't think of any way they would get in. I really can't. So I'm going to say it. My base is unraidable. League of Villains, bring it on. 
you little scoundrels. I'm not scared of you at all. So bring it. Bring it on. So gonna do a little uh, sale run quickly. Sell a bunch of stuff and then get some cash because we are low. And every time I say this, people are like, oh, you always say it's not important. Look, it's not important, but sometimes I'm going to need cash to do things. So right now it's important. All right. All right. Let's sell this stuff to the death vendor. Um, I only want to sell 24 of these. There you go. It's good money. Uh, and then I want to get on with, I need to do some of the quests because we just, we had the same quest for ages now. Like I've got, you know, Godric's quest here, kill 50 zombies. Because uh, you have Potion of Poison 2. Potion of Poison 2 is pretty easy to get. I need to just stop slacking. I really am slacking at the minute. Um, so, without further ado, let me go and work out the best way to do this. And we will get into some of the quests. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is uh, find this diamond chest plate that I have again. I've, I've completely forgotten where it is. There it is. Right. I've been using this iron one because of... Uh, I mean, it, to be fair, it's pretty good. I'm breaking 4, protection 7. I mean... That's strong, but I want to actually go and give myself some decent upgrades. And to do that, I'm actually going to head back to Joey's because Joey has some stuff that we can use. So why not use what Joey has instead of using my own resources like a good little thief? So uh, obviously our, our volcano is a little bit more of a hazard now since we uh, made it into what it is. Uh, so we have to be a little bit more careful, but... We can still just yeet ourselves over toward the base. I just got to work out where I went down before to find it because I actually don't remember exactly where I was when I found his base. Oh, I heard a zombie. Ah, there he is. Die for my quest, zombie, die. Only one of us can live. The other must die. And well, I don't plan on dying right now. But last time, didn't I just, I ender pearled down here, right? Yeah, and then I don't remember where it was though. I didn't really think this through. I didn't bring much, uh... Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh my. Okay, right. This should get me into his base now, I think. It was one of these tunnels. Oh wait, no, wait. I came from this way. I remember that was the steps I made. And if I go left... It takes me to his base, right? Wait. Yeah, this is it, this is it. Oh my, thank goodness. Here's the blooming ender chest that I stole from, look. How embarrassing. How actual- Oh, he's got 16 baked potatoes in his furnace. Let's go. The hunger will be gone. Is this enough to get max enchantment here? No, it's not at all. It's really not. Okay, I think he has more books though. I'm sure I remember seeing books. He has a load of books. But does he have no wood? Is that the problem? Give me your food, Joey Graceffa. He's got loads of wood. All right. All right, so with a little, little bit of modification, we have managed to make his uh, area quite nice here, to be fair. Just upgrading Joey when he doesn't even play on the server anymore. It makes absolutely no sense, but that's just the kind of person I am. Right, so let's go ahead and start the chest plate in and take whatever it gives us. Protection four and unbreaking three, pretty good. And the diamond boots, one, two, three, gives us unbreaking three, protection four as well. All right, so put those back on. I feel much, much stronger now, just because I'm, you know, in a position where uh, not everything, I'm not gonna get killed right away by things, you know? It's quite a nice feeling, to be fair. I quite like this little area that he made for the animals. It's quite sweet. I'm gonna leave them here, though. I'm not gonna feed them. They're not my pets. Oh, okay, and before we leave, the last thing I want to enchant is this fishing rod because we do have a fishing-based quest. I'm breaking three and lure three. That is actually very good. The lure is gonna help speed this process up because we have some quests to do and they're gonna take quite some time because one of them is fishing 20 times, which actually takes quite a while. You might not believe that, but it really does. So the only way I can see my base being able to be raided at this point is if it will let them teleport onto the bed or onto a furnace or something because otherwise I don't really know how they would manage it. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna set these bookshelves down. If I put a bookshelf here and then here, here, here. Now there's not a two block gap up there either. So they shouldn't be able to get in there either. But I think you have to land on a solid block. I don't think it could be on like beds, chests, things like that. Hopefully not anyway, that should stop them. And uh, of course, very quickly, it's going to go sell my saddles that I found while I was looking through my stuff because we have quite a few. Boom, five grand extra. We've done it. Time to go fish my little heart out. Let's see what we can get. My prediction is we'll get two or three enchanted books while we're here. That's the hope. Uh, and if we can get a flame bow, that'd be even better because I've missed my flame bow. It's gone and I'm very sad about it, but there's nothing I can do. Best thing that could happen here is while I'm trying to fish, I get attacked by zombies. That would be the best. These squids still weird me out too. I'm not okay with them. All right, let's get started. I'll bring you guys back. One, if I fish up anything super interesting. Two, when I'm done. 
I've got to fish 20 times, so hopefully this is a nice speedy process. Three days later. In a hilarious turn of events, guys, I'm actually now just starting because the quest actually states, Fish 22 times on the Squid Lake Island. This is the island. That is not the island. We're starting now. I'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, guys, I'm bringing you back for the final fish. This is it, the last thing that we are going to get. It's actually been pretty quick. It's only actually been about five minutes, I think, so very impressed with... Oh, it's a saddle, too. Let's go. So here's what I got. Here's my loot. Uh, you know, some puffer fish, all that good stuff. Not really anything uh, great, mostly because I forgot that this does not have luck of the sea, meaning that the chance of me actually getting anything, like, really good were, were pretty, uh, pretty slim. Slim to none, I would say. So uh, let's go back and hand this one in. Easy quest. Finally done. I've had for about two weeks at this point. So good to finally get it done. Uh, again, we're also closing in on 100 faction power. About time because I'm very far. Well, not very far behind everyone else, but a lot of people are ahead of me at this point. So it's nice to catch up a little bit. And my prediction is that Marlon is going to give us $2,000 and an enchanted fishing rod. That's, that's my reward guess. That's what I think he's going to give us. Coming in hot. Hey, what's up, man? I know it's been a long time since I took this quest. Oh, $2,000 was dead on. 16 bubble coral. Man, can't think of anything I'd rather have less. I'll be honest with you, but thank you so much. Wow. I mean, you know, to be fair, will he buy it? Will you buy it back from me, Marlon? Oh, not Marlon, Marlin. He'll buy it for three. Might as well bloody keep it, haven't I? I wonder if this guy's ever going to do anything. He stresses me out. Right now, he's just a swimming man. He just enjoys swimming. It makes me uncomfortable that he just swims there all day. How is he not shriveled up? How is he not a complete prune at this point? You know, you stay in the water for too long, your skin starts going all weird. How's that not happen to him? Okay, to complete this next quest, we are going to have to do a little bit of uh, work. Not too much, of course. I don't have to do too much work. Uh, but we need to make a new brewing stand. Because apparently we've somehow misplaced ours. That can go in this corner. Ugh. Okay, good. Once I've swam across to it, all right, and we're going to leave the blaze powder there. And we need two things. I'm not sure if we have. Ah, good. We have glowstone. Give me the glowstone dust, so that can go and sit up here. And then we've got to pop to spawn to grab ourselves a potion of poison one from our good friend, Eleonora, who is the town witch. Hello. Oh, it's Evanora. I don't even know her name. I'm so rude, honestly. It's unbelievable. Right, potion of poison, please. I know you've got one. There it is. Right, and now we whap this potion of poison into here. And it's going to cook us up a bay potion of poison 2, which we then got to consume for Herobrine's, you know, delight, because he's a weirdo. It's nice to watch me suffer, to be fair. Right, potion of poison 2. Let's do warp amity, as I believe that is the closest that we can get. And uh, this is completely unnecessary. We do not have to do it this way at all. But I am, in fact, going to drink it right in front of him, just to show him my true allegiance to the cause that is Herobrine. Hello. I'm here to drink this right in front of you. Thank you. I will return to you. $500 and a bedrock. All right. <laughs> Call me Mr. Flintstone. I can make a piece of bedrock. All right, this poison, this poison wasn't doing anything to me, which is quite nice, but now it is. Please stop that. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Done. Thank you. Great. Wow. Wonderful. Love that for me. So now we have to do is kill 50 zombies, which is going to take a little while, so I'll probably do some more of this off camera. Uh, but I want to see if this loot chest has refilled itself. I don't know how this one works in particular, because sometimes it refills itself, sometimes it doesn't. This time it has. Not sure what the procedure is for why it does and why it doesn't, but all I know sometimes it does. So... After the crippling embarrassment that was me raiding myself, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Ivan CPK, hopefully you're enjoying my videos recently. I'm putting in so much effort, so please do give them a watch if you're not watching some of the other ones as well. Ivan CPK, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.